Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to the Weekly Waypam. I'm Cal. And I'm Sunny. A.K.A. Henry and Sangita. And we have some special guests today, which is... Amma and Appa. Say hello. Hello, everybody. Yes. Hi. Yes. <laughs> My parents. <laughs> so, uh, what we're doing is sort of showing them how we do things each week. And one of the things that we do each week is the weekly way pan. Yes. And so, we wanted to include them. So, what we do, guys, is this. We take a look at what people are painting now, i.e. what are you painting now? <laughs> and uh, the thing is, this helps encourage people paint things up. For example, right here, you'll see this by Joseph Mallon. But if we take a look just down to the side, this is much later in the week and he has actually finished this up. So we see that he's finished up all of these various little bits of terrain and it looks like the Daily Bugle. But right here, we see how things started out. And the reason we do this is to encourage people to realize that painting is a process and it's not just the finished product because exactly. people always will see the finished product and they say oh it's so nice and then they 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 feel unconfident that they can't do it to that standard yeah so they have if we show off the process of how things are done then it's like oh so that's exactly how they did it that's how long they took to do something mm -hmm. right then right, they're yeah. like okay so uh i could maybe do that I could achieve something like that. And True. then they're not so in their head about like, I can't do that, so I'm not going to do it at and, all. And see, we have painters of all levels. So Joseph is our sort of tabletop master. So he's really been pushing himself recently. But what he usually does is absolutely smash things out. And uh, what that means is he gets them done so that they're looking good on a table right but so it's only for gaming like it so the, he's not looking to make it look super nice or anything like yeah, that right, he just wants right. to get it painted for the for playing, right, for yeah, playing. Right. so that's what tabletop means yeah yes. and and there's other people on here who are really trying to push themselves and you'll see the difference in levels and one of the things that we encourage is to show all of your levels of process because some of those competition painters They'll be showing the exact same thing over and over and over again, and you barely see any progress. But for that, that's that's how long it takes. Yeah. So to do that, that one detail, maybe like the they'll show you three progress shots, but it's all just the hair. Yeah. Because yeah. that's how yeah. long it took for them to do the hair to look that realistic. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. So Got it. we we won't we won't comment on uh, how it's looking now because he's actually finished this one up. But what we'll do is we read out the post and then we usually talk about how things are. But Joseph's usually finished things up throughout the week so we can take a good look. So he started off here and then he made his way to here. And you can see the, the big difference. Like before, it's looking quite, quite messy, but he cleans everything up so it's quite neat. But that green still keeps that slight change in hue so that you've got that that very subtle variation that you might not notice otherwise yeah so yeah. for this particular game he's like painting up his um marvel crisis, crisis protocol. protocol but so we it, call it much, much costly, costly prices because they always just put the <coughs> short form <coughs> of <coughs> everything so the they acronyms. just put, oh i'm painting up mcp mm. Mm. so like nobody knows what yeah. mcp yeah. is so, so we'll, we'll just we'll make always jokes. mock them about you know whatever. What, whatever the game actually is yeah so um so that people actually put the names down so people know what they're painting but you want to read this one out honey and we'll move on okay did someone say spam the channel to impress the in laws tonight's progress is someone totally some totally hand painted newspapers <laughs> <laughs> i seriously did not print and glue on do not not no not me <laughs> yeah so he's he's making a joke he's uh he he didn't hand paint those magazines in the window he so printed we, them out and stuck them on if we zoom in quite a bit you'll see what he's talking about here so see there 
Yeah. See, yeah. those things would be smaller than my pinky <laughs> nail. But you can still see, you know, all of those... Hulk smash. Yeah, you know, all of those <laughs> sorts of things. Yeah. Kind of a detail there. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. this is this is uh, what we call decal yeah. in a way. So like you you yeah, you kind of. have stickers or most people when they're doing terrain, this is terrain. So um, you know buildings and grass, they have to buy the pieces and paint them up themselves. Right. So if they have anything very detailed like a symbol or whatever, they may not be able to freehand it very well if it's too small. Mm -hmm. So the and that would be way too. Small. Yeah, they'll be way too small with something of that detail. So right. sometimes they'll have posters they mm -hmm. want to put up uh, in mm -hmm. the in the scene. Yeah. So they'll just print like tiny, tiny ones, right. cut it out and glue it onto the terrain. Uh, I see. Mm -hmm. All right. And so next up, we've got Martin Neal. You want to read that one out, honey? Hey, sorry for the delay. The buildings for the commission are coming along nicely. Still unfinished. WIP means work in progress. Uh, it's been difficult to concentrate my efforts due to serious money problems, but progress is being made. So let's just take a look and tell us what you think, because what he's trying to do here is do some World War II style ruins. And this is uh, for commission, so he's being paid to do this. Right. Yeah. So what do you think of what you're seeing here? Yeah, some some disastrous, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, what, what do you some think? Some bombing has been yeah. <laughs> <laughs> made it through the through the houses and you know demolishment. Yeah. So what what do you think of like the colors, the, yeah, the it's paint? Pretty, pretty vivid. Initially, in the, is in a zoom out. Uh, Image right? I thought it's like a honeybee, you know. Oh, you thought? Oh, yeah, yeah, it does yeah, look yeah, like yeah, a honey, yeah, honey yeah. Yeah. hive. So when you yeah. have a closer look, then you can see the. Uh, I, right, right. Okay. I think this scale is quite small. I think this scale is actually what's called fifteen millimeter. Uh -huh. So it's it's much smaller than usual. So I can tell that some of the times you're going to have a bit more difficulty with these ones. Right. But I think he's made good progress. I like how he's done the brickwork here. Yeah, it looks like real bricks. Yeah. Um. And, and like you've got the mortar there, and you know there is. A, a nice distinction between the two. I think he used. Um, do you think he used dry brushing technique or just a makeup brush and powder I'm, to make it look like distress? I'm not sure. I think he's dry brushed the bricks, but I don't know for the for the mortar. Mm. I don't know what he's done with the mortar, but I think it's coming along nicely. Hopefully, we'll see some more by the end of the end of the week. Mm. But we will see how we go. Uh, and so this is actually pretty good because you'll get to see how these miniatures start off. So you want to read this one out? Uh, so this is by Davis Kelly. Yes, it's a very funny spelling because he's Irish. Right? Irish. Irish, yeah. Ah. So I like to sometimes say or Mr. Welsh. Oh. Welsh? Oh, okay. Yeah, be. so I'll, I'll call him Dofied. Dofied. <laughs> but for fun, but that's yeah. not his, how he okay. pronounced the name. But yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so apologies for the long um, silence, folks. Been having a bit of a tough old time physically as of late. That's had a bit of a knock-on effort mentally. You will no doubt all be shocked. Shocked, I say, to hear that I'm even further away from picking up a paintbrush. What I have done, however, is cracked on with builds. Uh, now I will apologize in advance as I suspect I may have already posted a few of these in my last update. But as Henry is keen on getting across, it's the process that is the most important. Or to quote a favorite book series, Journey Before Destination. Mm. Uh, sorry, I think I lost my footing there. Uh, that's and, I've and, been, and I've been uh, delving into a huge variety of minis that have been on the to build pile for some time. There is official GW is Games Workshop, the oh, okay. the company that oh, okay. usually yeah. produces these good games. work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good good stuff. Won't lie, the build to tenth edition forty k and some of the fantasy reveals of late have got me positively giddy. Third party minis and parts that I plan on proxying in 40k and odd groups of minis for a variety of skirmish games I've been meaning to get 
too for a while. Now, despite the extra bank holiday this weekend, I doubt uh, it'll or I'll be getting any more painting done. But that's fine as I have a plan as I want to shift as much of my projects that are currently being stored on trays into really useful boxes. Can't afford any at the moment, but I know where I have a bunch of B. I know where I have a bunch being used for other storage, so it'll be a sort or it, it'll be a sort out this weekend to get them then swap out the contents. Also, a lot of dusting. Anyway, I hope you are all good and have a good one. But you can see the community is very friendly, that sort of thing. And this is how the models start out. And so what he's trying to do here is sort of show the process. So, so these are metal models, actually. The ones mm. that you are used to seeing is made of plastic. Mm. But originally, m miniature models used to be made from metal. Mm. So some people will still produce metal models, but it's... Um, the the paint is is will get easily chipped off of metal models, so some some people really don't like that. Yes, me yeah. me in particular. So, but you can also see here, he's mixed some of that. So, see these are plastic right here, or these actually might be resin. I'm not sure, but you see how some of them are that grey. So he's used steel heads with some of these ones. Mm, okay. So the, he's used like um, mixed metal heads. You can usually swap out some parts so that they they can have different expressions mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or like different arm poses, mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah. So is, is it coming out of a mold or something like that? Yeah, yeah. 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 That, that is exactly how yeah. these come out. So yeah. most of the time, these will come out of an ABS mold or if these are resin, they'll come out of a resin mold. So they'll pour them into a resin then the resin's pulled apart in half usually, and then they will seal it back up right. and do that. But if it's the metal, it will be injection molded. So you've yeah. seen injection molds before. They yeah. put them together, press all that in, but they have to be quite finely tuned to get this level of detail. Right. But yes, Ooh. so this, this is something completely different. This was an old post. I do believe it was. Yes. And, uh, but I think he's trying to show it off. So, Amar, what this one is, is uh, from one of the cartoon shows. Mm. Um, and this, so, you know how, just like we showed you the other cartoon show, how, like, sometimes the the cartoon aspect isn't isn't everything. So, these these cartoons are known for being very sort of political. And those those political things are used as analogies for the real world but on this channel we never talk about politics because that always <laughs> causes unnecessary problems <laughs> yes yes yeah. so yeah. uh we just keep it purely painting yeah uh yeah so he's basically what he's showing here is that he set up the models to be primed so he's glued the model onto the black bases so that uh, he's just setting things up essentially. So yeah. and and wow. that might not look like this much. Is pretty good. Yeah, that's a very detailed model there. I think it's yeah. metal. This yeah, one, this one. one's metal. Yeah, samurai guy. Uh, but yeah, the 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 reason that we even though it doesn't look like much, it's just someone putting the model on a base. It's that act of getting started mm. so yes. like once you start you 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 will feel the momentum of doing more what's yeah, next what's see, next what's this, next yeah this upper is how they all start out see how they're all bits and bits pieces and pieces, yeah so what he'll do is he'll use this um plastic um, cement no no it's not it's no, not no, it's, no. It's, it's so what this is is uh, is it a polyvinyl acetone I, i'm not sure I, I can't remember which acetone it is but what it will do is it's actually a mild solvent and when he presses those two pieces together right they'll actually be dissolved together they bind together because it ah. melts it's it's right. plastic glue got it yeah. plastic yep. glue so yeah. it melts the glue right and then you seal it together sure. yeah. yeah and so this is actually good because it gets you an idea of how some people do things and see like these little gaps here mm -hmm. see how it's green See, he's had a gap there. So what he's done is he's made that chemical clay I told you about. Right. And uh, he's put that over the base so that it's all sealed up. All right. 
And so we've got quite a variety of various things. So he's been doing up a lot, but what he likes to do and what he was trying to say was he gets everything built, puts them into trays and then puts those trays away so that he's got that step done and then he can move on to the next step. But I think it's about time we move on to the next post. What do you think? Honey? Yes. All right. So next up we have Ashley. Been asked to throw up some progress pictures of my Chaos Dwarf Blood Bowl team and display board. I want to thank all the people that helped me with the technical details and advice and support to many uh, to mention, but you know who you are. Thanks again. So this will hopefully show you a whole bit of um, progress here. So Ashley's um, actually a local here. We know Ashley. Yes. Um, and so he shows us how it starts out. And so you can see those bits and bobs made from different things. And then you see he's painted them up here. And then, you know, he's done up their bases. And then... You know, he's, uh, so this is probably a marker for where the ball should be because it's meant to be a fun fantasy game. And so here's him plotting out the thing. So you see that line there? Mm -hmm. So he's, so plotting he's drawn mm -hmm. that on. So he looks like a chessboard to me. Well, yeah, it does look like a chessboard at the but, moment. But, um... but you see the, the line here? You're going to see that turn into a river. Oh. So yeah. now he puts on the sand. He marks them all out. And then oh, okay. he drills in the holes. For where the bases will go in. Yeah. Right, right. Slot them into position. And then he, I think he's, is he, this might be the under part of it. And then, so here you go. That was, remember how he had those drawings there? You see how he's built that up. And now he's got the underside done. And then he starts painting that up. And see, this is this is a good idea of the kind of things that we show off because you can see the level of work that's gone into this. So it's not it's not just something that happened overnight, and you see how it's all starting to come together now. Yeah, so right. that he's made a lava base, and then he's added the the, the crackling, crackling effect. Right, right, right. Yeah, and so. But when you when you take a look at it at the start, it doesn't look like much. But that's how all things start out. Everybody starts out in a similar position. Just oh wow! Well, now you can see that. Yeah, and see, doesn't it Coming look up. fantastic? Yeah. But that's the thing. Most people will only see the that. finished product. Yeah. yeah, that's right. As I, it's all done. Look at how much work they've done, and then look at me. I haven't done anything. Yeah. yeah. So, but they they see the process, and that usually makes people feel a bit better. Yeah. And then um, they feel the need to start something themselves. But so yeah, yeah. you see the start. It, you see the start here, and it's a long way to yeah. get to here. So, what do you think of this one, Apa Amar? It looks like a lot of work has been <laughs> gone into it, and. Uh, what do you think about looks, the... Looks amazing. Quite quite detailed, you know. How about the lava effect yeah, and everything? Yeah, yeah. the effect yeah. is quite prominent there, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. It does, the 3D effect. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you can see that there's pools of people, you know, standing in between the lava, flowing out. Oh, and, yeah, those tiny details that they yeah, have added. Uh, yeah. Any... Uh, how about the colors yeah, or anything? Yeah, it's very vivid. You know? Yeah. Yeah, very vivid. All good right. job, good job. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. All right, we will move on to our next one. So Ooh. this is yeah, this, this is, is uh, our favorite friend, uh, um, Lainey, as you know, uh, is one of the other ladies on the forum. And Sunny's always asking for more ladies on the forum. Yes. Yeah lady painters so uh, bad lighting and bad camera but this is my test model space wolf done not perfect but good enough yeah it started out looking very blue when we first looked at him so what we'll what we'll actually do is we'll go back on laney's stuff down here and yeah see see how it's all started out blue yeah mm -hmm. it's all completely blue more blue 
and then now it's gray and red ah, so okay, okay. yeah all that was just the base priming of so right. that the undertones come through right, and right. then they uh paint the rest of them yeah. oh okay yeah because the face does look very red I, I i'm sorry to say i he gave me a bit of chewbacca vibes well i don't far well see like the thing is you know he's got the big handlebar mustache and all of that sort of thing yeah 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 but i do like that level of contrast because you know the very sort of reddish skin all of that contrast i, I wonder well. if it's actually blood that's dripping from his head up there i don't it kind of looks what, like I don't blood know what, i don't know what's going on on the very top of his head here yeah. but um it looks like it's not fully done yet to me the, the head is like it's not completed or is it um, yeah she says like she says yeah. that it's finished oh it's finished yeah okay. so okay. she's saying that this is done not perfect so what she's doing is she's testing out her sort of color scheme trying out seeing how she would um sort of like her future models to be done uh, okay okay so what i really like is the steel with the chain blade yeah you know nice subtle effect I think the skulls have come up well. I'm not sure what's going on, on here. with the head. But I think the skin tone and the hair color is a bit too close. The skin tone and, and the, the head. hair color. Maybe. That, that's oh, why it kind So of, this yeah. would be a good time to introduce what we actually talk about because a lot of it's been processed thus far. So, Ama, Apa, what we do is this. We do three things. We say what you've done well, what you you know, haven't done perfect and what you can improve. Yeah. yeah sure. So let's let's do that, honey. So I think color scheme wise I spot on. Yeah, I think it's great because I think like one, she's gotta, you know, follow it like a historical because a space wolf is always gonna be these colours. But I think choosing that very sort of um saturated red um human skin tone mm -hmm. i think that's really good very rich skin versus but, the neutral gray yes yeah. yeah um the the only things i would say is uh with that maybe you could do some accents for example with uh this right here you could turn that into a gemstone maybe have some greens have some little fetishes like these in contrasting colors yeah that could be what's improved and what you think is the big issue for her is that the, the skin, skin and the hair is a bit too close in the color they kind of yeah. look like one thing if yeah. you ask me the hit you know after oh, yeah. having a good look at it then i can actually see it like there's the eyes and then there's a like a mustache more coming out you know but if in a in a, in a straight look one look i i couldn't spot the hit yeah. Is yeah. Yeah. So I think what Sunny is saying is the 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 color tone on the on the head part could, could have be, been be better. Maybe lighter uh, skin tone. Better contrast. Yeah, contrast, yeah that's yeah. right. That's what I'm trying to tell. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Lainey. And we shall move on. All right. So next up, we've got Ooh. Lance Davenport. Yeah, Appa thinks he's good right yeah, off the right, bat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another work in progress. I have several and have a tendency to jump around on projects. Sometimes it's because I can't visualize a color palette or sometimes it's a bit ADHD lol. All in all all in all it's what works for me and joy. Yeah, so, so it's a swap monster, isn't he? Yeah, um and I think, you know, what we're seeing right now is good contrast despite it's all natural colors but i think since it's a work in progress and since i think we see some more of his stuff a bit later on we might see some more progress it looks on this pretty one. finished at the moment yeah i'd i'd agree i'd agree but hopefully we'll see this guy finished up and we'll give some more comments. But let, let's ask Appa because Appa said this was oh, great. Yes, right because I like to see some details, you know, when you have some sculptures like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit tiny details yeah. here and there. It is visible right away. Right, 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 yeah. And, and then I think he has done some color jobs there with some contrasting yeah, you can colors. See, yeah, the orangey yeah, bits of the yeah. veins. So it's, uh, and... even if it's small, tiny things, you can straight away spot it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. What, what do you think, Amma? What, what are your thoughts on this one? Mm. It's nice. <laughs> she, she doesn't know how she, to describe, she, she, but the, she's yeah. stunned by it. Amma's yeah, um, yeah. not as good as uh, describing things as Appa is. Yes. Yeah, okay. She just likes and enjoys it and so, watch it. 
Uh, Lance has done up another one. Yes, yes a uh, whip. Uh, finishing a wash on and... Sorry, finishing a wash onto, onto the, the iron. iron, then weathering. Right, okay. Weathering basically means like... Uh, to make it look aged. Yeah, so, like, yeah. you know, on the side of the house, there might be, like, moss right. dripping right. or, you know, the fade. Mm. So, they would add those effects on top. So, uh, this is just the... Uh, what he's done is just done the color, base color, and then he's added a wash over it. So, yeah. that, right. so the wash is like a lacquer... <laughs> dark lacquer yeah. color so it seeps into the crevices of of right. the miniatures to right. bring out right. Right. bring out right. the shadows yeah, sure. so that's what it is uh, yeah. so my first thought on that one was uh, it, it, it replicates the chariot that i saw earlier on in india oh so that gives me a oh that that, that yeah, idea chariot, yeah right, it looks like uh, it and so this is so this, this is one that we've seen um now it's not james stephen uh, this is one that we've seen Stephen been working on for quite a while. And, and so he's this a one's competition gonna, level painter. Oh. Yeah, he's he's a, a lot more advanced than some of our other painters. But he'll usually only work on one or two miniatures a week, unlike some other people who will get out, you know, 20 or, you know, 50. Um, and he'll just... So you see here, very, very detailed. Like, for example, look at those... You know, uh, leaves on his pauldron there, right? So this is all brushwork that he's okay. done. every every um, every minor detail that you see here is all brushwork. Mm -hmm. So he's as you can see, he's uh, done it up very detailed because it's for a competition. Oh, I, I don't. I'm not sure this. It, is this yeah. a painting or is yeah, just yeah. a painting, right? Well, yeah. I mean, on the model, yeah, it is a model. Model, but okay. he's done the painting on the model. So, oh, okay. So, you can also see all those grayed out areas are the areas that he's not yet started to work on. So he's he's just painted on the he's just painted on the. Um, the lights and the shadows there, so he knows how, um, how where to put the, where to put the lights and shadows, right. lights and shadows oh. on uh, with colors. So uh, maybe he wants to put like a dark brown where the uh, the darkest lines are, where you can see. So right. it's just to plan. Right. So we call this zenithal priming. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Meaning from the top. So what they'll do is they'll start dark and then they'll spray lighter colors so that they have the imitation of light and shadow. Right. But yeah, you can see right here, this reflective armor, and it does look reflective, especially when you compare it to the fur of the uh, moose. Sorry, it's an elk, isn't it? Yeah, elk, elk, sorry. Um, but yeah, and you can see how like with the leaves up there that you know as you go further down where the light doesn't strike them they look a lot more brown so yeah but so it's all hand painted the effect right yeah. like for example all that fur that it's, fur it's is individual not brush yeah. ah. that's not part of the model structure okay. he's okay. painted that on okay mm. so what are your guys thoughts fantastic it's yeah. brilliant work and see um, a lot of the times, the thing is, like, for example, with um, some of the other people's works, they are trying for getting things done, whereas he's trying to create a really beautiful model. To show off the skill level of his painting skills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right. So, next up. Oh, it's, uh, it's our video. And... Uh, each fortnight we release a video about a topic that we think is important in the gaming community and this one is uh, is about how Warhammer might be a bad girlfriend. But it's not about the game Warhammer itself, it's the company that produces the game. Mm -hmm. So um, Games Workshop has been known to do some pretty bad business decisions so lately every year even before you know pandemic and everything they would increase the prices of their 
you know box as their models mm-hmm. so now even after the pandemic they're still and during in, the pandemic during the pandemic mm-hmm. they rise their prices they keep raising their prices so now people are normal people are having a hard time being able to be involved mm-hmm. in this hobby any longer right, right. so it doesn't seem like a good decision on their part because um you they're, know they're pushing out more sort of regular people and making it a game more for just people with money you know ah okay so why we say it's like a bad girlfriend is because sometimes they do some mistakes and then they don't apologize for you know the fact that they've done something wrong other times they address the issues and then other time and then nowadays they're like raising the prices so it's very like hit or miss yeah so some of the so to summarize it the reason why we said it's like a bad girlfriend is because they will do things that are very nice that you appreciate that you you're like oh thank you thank you for doing that and then the next moment they'll do something very bad and essentially that's where we came up with the analogy because it was like someone being in a not so good relationship all right um so next up we've got patrick cunningham using black primer a unit of com chariot yes it does seem like king king of something i forget the name um i'm not sure what com stands for computer yes computer chariots yes these are all computer chariots uh so as you can see here right patrick is kind of on the opposite spectrum to what Stephen is, right? Stephen, uh, before what you saw, genuine vision, um, he is spending hours and hours and hours on one single model. Whereas what Patrick is trying to do is just get as many models as he can done, uh, so that when when it comes to game time. You know, they're all painted on the table. They might not be the best, but the thing is that when somebody looks at them on the table, they'll be like, okay, those are horses and chariots and so on and so forth. And see, the thing is, both approaches are fine. And that's what we try and encourage here. So what are, what are your thoughts when you take a look at these ones? I'll see, actually, you know what I'll do? I'll move these so that we can take a bit of a better look at them and I'll we'll just flip rotate them. the picture yeah uh, that's what, what I was strong I wanted to oh I went the wrong way uh, so. 180 I think you should be able to there we ah, go, yeah. there we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah now it's more of a you know, the orientation is right yes yeah. it's work in progress I believe no, this is no, finished. It's a finished, finished, oh, finished. finished. Yeah. So why don't you elaborate more on Ma, why you think it's a work in progress? Yeah, I think the remember that hand gestures don't come through on the audio, <laughs> Ma. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're not alone. Your uh, yeah. your daughter so does it, that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks incomplete. Why? Why does it look incomplete? Uh, no, she doesn't know how to. <laughs> it's just the just, first one. Just, just, try, try, yeah. try, try Amar. Try Amar. Let Amar speak and we'll hear. Yeah, the thing is, like, the colors are. Very subtle. Yeah, think? correct. It's not very vivid. Okay, uh, what, uh, uh, so it's not very vivid. Uh, do you mean there's not enough tones in there? Yes. Oh, yes. okay. So, yeah, so it's, it, it's, it's only two colors essentially, just the. The, the color of the horse and then you yes, just see correct. black and stuff like that yeah, yeah. which uh what about you about what yeah you? that's a similar thing you see the horses and and the behind the uh the chariot rider or something yeah like yeah that. so it's all like similar tone it yeah. looks like as a first look you know the guy could have been a bit more detailed so that you yeah. see that's a person behind the horses or yeah. something like that or on the chariot and and the view of the photograph taken is like you know like forty five degree angle, so we couldn't really make out what it is in the first uh, uh, first uh, yeah shot first glance yeah. yeah first glance yeah. Well, I would have to agree with yeah. with on that. So what uh, Patrick has done is just the base color, and he's right. 
used a very strong wash over I, I don't I don't think he's used a strong wash I think it's just a really really strong over brush so he oh. hasn't even he hasn't even like put a wash on there he's just over brushed which is like dry brushing except it's a wet brush mm -hmm. and he's just over over brushed on everything so it just goes into the recesses of the no, model no no the opposite way around it doesn't go into the recesses oh. so you know it over brushing is just like dry brushing except you use a wet brush oh okay I've, I've never known that technique before yeah it's it's really a favorite of speed painters right so he's going for speed he yep. just wants color on the model so that he can get on with it yeah. so yeah. yeah he wasn't and Focus too much on. Ah, it. here we find out it's Oathmark Kingdom of Men. Ah, okay. So we'll we'll take another we'll take another look and I'll spin this one around just like before. So here we go. We want this one. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is how they look. So as a set. Yeah, and so that's how he'll <coughs> sort of have them all out there. There'll be a lot of miniatures on the table. And I think that's why he aims to sort of get things done. Because as you can see, that's those guys back there, which he'd done before. Ah, okay. So there, it's not like um, there's only going to be a few guys on the table. There's going to be a lot, a lot and of a guys. lot. So, so. <coughs> okay. okay. Uh, anyhow, so this one is uh, some of the times people are just looking to get it done, as Henry says. So he's, he's sometimes you see them as individual models, they don't look as great. But once you look at it as a set, it all really comes together. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, yeah, I think it looks a lot different when it looks very clean when you well, see it at this angle. I'll just ask. So, Amar, what do you think when you see when you see it like this? What do you think once you see that it's a part of? like a big set of guys does it do does those... it still look very sort of flat or like does no, it... after watching the whole display of this yeah i, I get the picture mm. yeah. yeah okay anything else to add or mm. okay <laughs> all right Omar. okay so next up okay okay here we so this we've got is... the daily bugle worked on finished yeah so currently working on the canopies i hope uh to have these finished this weekend yeah and so we've seen joseph's progress and i think we showed them right at the start so this is what they end up like so it's a multi-story building or they can be yeah or so they... or they can be individual so he's decided to stack it up just for that photo so that you could see them all but the whole reason why he's showing off is he's sort of showing how the process goes, you know? Okay. So you can see the, the bottom one, how it starts off. It's considered like a, like a prime. Not really priming, it's just a spray. Yeah, he's, he's just blocking in the colors. Yeah. And then the second one is like a base painting of the, of the orange and the yellow colors yeah. and then the top one is got more of the signage done the the embellishments all done up and and see we really like ones like this because you can see throughout the week as they've moved along and along and you don't see it just pop all done you know you see how what it, am i doing next that kind of thing yeah and you if you're somebody who's never done this sort of thing before you can follow along with somebody who may not be a master painter and you might not be a master painter so you're like okay i might not be able to paint as good as that guy but i can definitely follow the steps that this guy did mm. yeah. um all right next up we've got one of our favorites oh angela, angela. bassett yes all right i am gonna show off my true pile of shame which is my partially painted projects I probably have more hiding somewhere and let's not even look at my pile of opportunity, whatever that is. So pile of opportunity is the things which people haven't even gotten to assemble yet. Oh, okay. There's a new term I learned today. All right. That's a very nice model. Primed and waiting to be painted. The plan is to go with a black and white furred hyena look. 
So this this one, she's showing off all her various work in progress projects. So it's a hyena warrior. So yeah, it's just uh, showing off. Oh, oh yeah, oh, this one's very nice. Yeah, please ignore the terrible we'll seams. See. Oh, you want to read? Okay, yeah. It warped a bit during painting. Uh, printing. Uh, printing, sorry. Need to fix the connecting pieces up, but I keep starting on the roof and getting distracted. I also now need to modify it a bit and finish its chicken legs. So it's Baba Yaga's house. Yeah, the, she's making Baba Yaga's house. But So you see this big seam right here? See, the thing is, she didn't buy this off a model company. She made it herself off a 3D printer. Ah, okay. Yeah. And I don't know. I like I like yeah. how the tiles are going. I mean, I think all they need is a wash and a dry brush. Yeah, the, I think she's getting to that stage. But yeah, the yeah. blocking in the colors is perfect. And I, yeah. I like how she's done a bit of variation on the wood coloring just, there. Just like how we did how with our tiles. How we do it, yeah. So it, uh, Baba Yaga is a fairy tale character. So, uh, I, Oh, I guess they wouldn't know uh, European myths as much as we do. Mm -hmm. All right, so you want to read this one out? Uh, this is an old mini I dug out of storage that I just want to re repaint. So yeah, I can... Uh, do you want to have some comments on, on this particular model, Mama? This model looks like a <coughs> titan. Yes, uh, yeah. at the moment it yeah. does. <laughs> yeah, so she's going to repaint it. Uh. So that's, that's what I think she is doing with a lot of these. Um... Uh, that one's a dinosaur. Yeah. I think Apar is Apar's just having, having a, a, a bit of a cough. Yeah. yeah. It's just winter at this time, so they're still... Well, that, that might mean that Amar might get a chance to get a word in. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Apar's usually the one that has a lot yeah, to say. Yeah. So, what do you think about this one, Amar? Oh, this is uh, the color... color. Contrast is very good. Yeah, mm. and, and it's uh, the... She's got... I like something about the way she paints is that she uses... Uh, she doesn't just use one type of color. Like, she's not afraid to use... Oh, oh you look, can put so, pots so, and pans on it. So, she's sort of turning it into a beast of burden, you know, putting all sorts of little um, bits and pieces on it. And that's, that's her next step to paint all that mm. stuff up. Yeah, so it, it's meant to carry carry things around. Oh, yeah. even, ah, okay. even got a little canopy there for yeah, him. Yeah, to co cover all the stuff that's underneath, like a camel. All right, and that's it from Angela. So we will leave a part to his death spiral, apparently. <laughs> oh, it's oh that look, guy. it's about that guy, the swamp monster again. Okay, now Emma, you can talk about the swamp monster. <laughs> yes. All right, um, do you so, want to read out quick? Okay, calling this done, not my favorite piece, but hope I did it justice. Just a quick side note. While I was gone, I visited St. Augustine, I don't know what FL means, Florida, I guess. Went to the Fountain of Youth, had a drink, didn't work. So thought maybe i get it in. Uh, they frown on that and asked me to leave. Just joking, I'm too shy. Love, uh, love uh, out to our group. Uh, love out to our group. Paint brushes up, go. Yes. So um, this is the the monster that we saw earlier. Yes, now he's yes. finished it. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. 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 What do you like about it, Amar? Tell I us. like the whole thing of it. Yes, I know you like you the, the whole thing. What yeah. about it do you like? It look monstrous. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what specifically makes it look monstrous, Amar? I believe it's the artwork, the color combination. And it Is it that? The face? Yes, the face, the face and the way that he did the shrubs. Is that a shrub? Yeah, I guess yeah. it's shrub, yeah. shrubs and dried yeah. grass. So yeah. it tells you like where this this creature lives. Yeah, yeah. One look already, I know it's a swamp monster. Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So um, once again, doing our usual thing of what you did well, what you could improve. So usually we would say, you know, you could use some sort of thing down here. Yeah, to fill where, up the gaps. But I'm I'm not going to say at that time. The only thing that I think would really change that, and this is what I would say you could improve, and it wouldn't be that much at all, just do a black base rim so that it actually looks like a swamp so that you've got that 
um, like a, the distinction between yeah, you go. So oh, sorry. Oh yeah, the distinction between the model and the base is usually okay. yeah. Well, more okay. so that the base looks more deliberate because at the moment it looks accidental because oh. you've got that stuff flowing over the edge oh. whereas that would have that very sort of swampy look so this was the one you liked Appa yeah. he's, he's yeah. come back from yeah. death yeah. He, we did not let him die <laughs> yeah. he's yeah, completely I, I finished a, now I had a bad cough that's it yeah yeah, yeah cough it up yeah um, and this is the guy you saw earlier all done up yeah this is very nice yeah, I, I was just listening to what Henry was saying that, that the base could be a different color so that you can differentiate the tones of greens. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, so was, you see yeah. the rim here, right, Yeah, yeah. So yeah. what I was saying is if that's black, right? Right, right. I agree because, with you. Because this here looks swampish. Mm -hmm. And so if that's black, you've got a defined border. Mm -hmm. Right. So I think what he did well was color contrast that you guys said right off the bat much earlier yeah because i think that sort of orangish brown for the roots yeah right, fantastic especially this the mushroom yeah the yellowish red mushroom great contrast right but that's what i would say you know um hasn't been done the best and could improve but i, I guess the detailing on the mushroom could be done better but no, it's, it's, I, I like the mushroom it's, yeah well, I, I don't know. I, I think everything else kind of looks like very detailed to me. Mm. But the mushroom looks a bit out of place in the terms of the detail work on him. I, but, I but, like the mushroom. But it's, Leave your mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> but color choice wise, it's all, yeah. you know, yeah. it comes together great. very, looks great. it looks neat and tidy and pleasing to the eye. Mm -hmm. Alright, mm -hmm. so next up. Oh, with my favorite. It's, my it's favorite. Uh, Peter Peter. <laughs> <laughs> so this weekend I found a moment to add some color to one of my cute uh teal yellow gold royal purple and jade after getting the base colors right on the set I then like to get on <clears throat> get one painted up with all the coloring to get it right before I do the whole lot note some of the bone will need cleaning up to correct overpainting and smudges okay so yeah. we'll take a look with this so I believe what he's saying is he tries to get one of these done up to a, a much higher standard so he can use that as his template. So this is a work in progress still and these are what are called chibi style artworks. So the head is very big whereas the body is very tiny. And then they make everything look very round. Like sometimes chibi don't even have any fingers. They're just, they're just like uh, just the little like a round shape. Right, that's it. Right. So that's this is a chibi style model in that sense. Um, very cute looking, and, yeah. And see, with this one, it's meant to be a strong contrast between the two concepts because it's a sort of cute art style, but this is an undead animal. So, you know... Like the two concepts are not... <clears throat> don't mix well, you yeah, know? Like, because undead is very... Right, right. Like, how do I say? It's... Uh, scary yeah yeah um yeah. More, i i guess it's more like sort of um yeah i guess scary is fine scary <laughs> and then the but they did it in such a cute way yeah. so it's like a negative and a positive kind yeah, of in the same sure. but what i will say is that i think i understand what peter is going for mm -hmm. is he's kind of going for that glazed canopic jar look oh yeah yeah don't they look like ceramic now the way that the that he's painted it up, it's got the little glaze, the pooling just at the edges. It looked yeah, like canopic jars. I, I guess, I guess. But for me, like I, I think it very much smacks of what we talked of last time. So uh, often you'll see that people will show things from before. And so this is one of the things that we talked on. And with this one right here, um, before, we talked about how chibi looks like it would be something easy to paint, but it's actually more difficult because you've got more surface area and you're going to be punished for being less deliberate. And or less neat, less neat and tidy. So well, not necessarily less neat and tidy, but less deliberate. So like, for example, right here, you see how he's really pushed the shadows with the blue and that sort of thing. And he's made it so that uh, 
things are a lot more uh, like he's made his highlights a lot more deliberate a lot more intense you know whereas before when he did the Nurgle guys he made it so that things were more blended together I'm going to take care of that and if you could take Amar and Ampath through that Okay, we'll look at some of the other pictures. Oh, look at the different angles. Like but if that. you guys want to comment on it. Yeah, so yeah, sure, we'll what, do. what do you think of the way it's looking so far? I'm not sure if it's completed just yet, but... Um, uh, no, I don't think it is. Okay, so he's still going to add more color, I think. So what, what do you think of how it's looking so far? So far, I think pretty pretty colorful though. Mm. Yeah. So, what do you think yeah. of like the the way that it was painted, like the the brushwork? Nilale, what do you say before? It looks more like a porcelain. Or yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. The effect yeah. looks like yeah, a porcelain. Effect yeah. Look, yeah. 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 I think I, I I don't think if you add more colors to it, it'll just make it like you know bizarre. Messy. Yeah. Messy. Do you think he should stop think, here? Yeah. Or? Yeah. I I think then just touch it up a bit more make it certain areas more subtle you know just make those brilliant colors leave it as it is then probably just bring up more of the uh, features mm. of mm. what what the the miniature is supposed to look like mm. yeah i think that should be good i guess yeah so just like you feel that it's almost close to done is what right, i think right, you're saying right, right all right so next up, oh yeah, and I just basically, I'll do posts here and I said big thanks because we asked them to post up a lot of stuff. So all of that, all of what you've seen was posted within two days. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so after we told them to make some more posts so that you guys can have something to comment on right, and see exactly right. what the community is about. Yeah. Two days, everyone posted up their stuff. Right. All, all of great. that. That's great. Um, and so this is another thing. So people will just come in and they'll ask, you for know, advice or, or, or help. Yeah. Yep. And then the community will respond. But then we've got some more. So, uh, Calvioni and he's a lot like Patrick Cunningham in that he just does so much stuff. And he uh, just wants it done and out of the way so he can start playing yeah. games. Uh, and yeah. so he's just showing off how he sort of um, arranges things here. And to get to give you guys an idea, just like how um, Davith, the guy who's, it's spelt like Dofeed, uh -huh. um, to show how he does things so that you get a better idea. But we'll move on from that one. And okay, oh, and this was post? another person just asking for advice. And it's really good because people in here actually showed whole guides. I don't want to click on it because it might collapse everything. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, just go ahead. Um, Ooh, but we will, oh, we will finish off here mm -hmm. and we'll make this the last one before we head off. We'll uh, do some more later and we'll merge those videos together. Right. So this is uh, Mimo Seymour. And uh, last time he did up something for us. He did up a killer bunny rabbit for Easter. So he does sort of very mimetic like, projects. Uh huh. Dark theme stuff. So, in, should I read out the yeah, yeah. thing? Okay, incredibly. Whip. Incredibly whip. Yeah, that, uh, work in progress, but back to working on this monster. So, what he's saying is like he's just at sort of the starting stages of this. So, you see how it's all black and some bits are grey. So, he's barely gotten started on this mm -hmm. and he's just saying you know here's here's how i'm starting off with this project and, and he's I, is he just blocked i think he's added wash over the skulls and stuff yeah i think he might even still paint over these skulls but he's sort of doing it like he might have already had them painted and he's sort of getting an idea of how it will look as it's coming together and this is what some people do they'll just sort of block things out and then they'll get an idea for how things look so that's our uh, that's our sort of start of it we've got a bit more to do but we'll be doing that later in the day so that everybody can stay mentally refreshed rather than slowly yeah, so this will out. be the intermission we'll see you soon. yeah 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 but before we go what have you guys thought thus far 
Uh, so far, I think it's very good. Pretty good work done. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I think the community is still growing, right? Yeah. So yes. I think it's uh, everybody comes in and give their thoughts out and, you know, be a community and, you know, enjoy yourselves. Yeah. Well, yeah. what do you think of the way the community has been? Yeah, yeah pretty good. I, I yeah. think it's, it's, it's amazing to see people come together and, uh, you know, uh, exchange ideas and display their stuff and seek opinions and uh, you know uh, so that's, involved that's, yeah yes. they are very and, they are very involved as well and i like to wish all of them um happy painting <laughs> and uh, thanks so much you're doing a very very good job <laughs> please do not stop yes <laughs> yes we 100% agree with that yeah so until we return Keep those, those brushes, brushes wet. wet. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back from our intermission. How was lunch? Oh, that was great. Yeah? It's full now. Yes. How was lunch for you, Mummy? Oh, we had uh, lunch at the Harry's, and I just love the food. Oh, yes. yes. All right, so, first off, we have Andy Dickinson. Would you like to read? Yes. So these have been on and off my painting desk for a while. The bust is chilling for a bit. And while I quite like them every time I look at them, I'm just getting overwhelmed with the details and bits I haven't painted. So a general question is how do people deal with highly detailed minis without them ending up with a confused mess or just running out of energy? Or every time I look at it, I can see bits I've missed, which I think might just be better brush control. The other part is trying to balance be- being neat and clean without it taking ages. Yeah. And wanting to try new things while still not being entirely sure what you're doing or trying to achieve. As seen as by the attempts at non-metallic metal and on these models, not quite sure where I'm going with this post or models which <laughs> might be part of the problem. So this is this is a fairly common problem for a lot of hobbyists. So you see Andy's got a fair decent amount of skills. This is still a work in progress, right? And what he's trying to do is be painterly in that he is trying to rather than uh, actually just use a flaked metal gold or something like that. He's trying to paint that effect with browns and such to so get gold. manually painting on the gold effect with different shades of brown and yellow and white mm-hmm. to make or, it look mm-hmm. like a reflective surface. Mm-hmm. So that's or, what non-metallic metal means. And, or the blues for the, uh, for the steel. But yeah, Amar, Afa, what do you think of what you're taking a look at here? Uh, I see a lot of blue, but I really like two tone colors. Maybe it can be a bit more of a, you know, uh, like the the face, the hands, and all look the same color to me. Uh, other than that, it's pretty good. I think he means the tones. Yeah, the tones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess it's it's maybe lacking in uh, saturate contrast. Maybe mm-hmm. what, what about you, Omar? What do you what do you think of them? Well, I'll see that it doesn't catch us my eye. Yes, yeah, and I think this is. Yeah. See, I think this is like you like this one more than the, yeah, the than one. the guy. Yeah. And Andy, I think this is the issue. Some of the times, painters get in their own heads. So over here right this is what i think uh the general audience brings to some people right Mm -hmm. you take a look at this there is all sorts of little details here as he was talking about and he's overwhelmed he's not sure what to do don't don't worry about it don't worry about try your best to get it so that it is visually appealing Mm. don't worry about those tiny little details because you guys haven't picked up on these tiny details as much. We can go into them, but that's that's the thing you've got to remember. Not People aren't going to be looking at it like this, all the way up tight in close like this. They're going to be looking at it like this from some distance away. Right. And I think that's, that's the thing, Andy. If you're struggling with the complexity, instead, 
maybe take a break from them or maybe power through, get them done. Just get them done and say, I'm done, do them up. And then maybe a few months, you can come back and you can have them with a fresh perspective rather than feeling so overwhelmed by them. What mm. do you think of that? Well, yeah. I think maybe a yeah. day or two, not like a couple months. Because like usually once people are done, they're done. Yeah. In, and then they're, they're not going to revisit models that, that's again. That's fair. Usually. That's fair. That's fair. But I think it's maybe just... Maybe a week then. Um, yeah. Okay. Because like, uh, I think currently it's just... Um, uh, lacking in contrast. Yeah. I think once he adds a bit more into the shadows and that's contrast. That's why they liked the lady a lot more than they Because liked. they've got the vibrant right. green going on. This and, one is a lot better. Yeah, but the detailing in the in the pants, I will have to say, it oh, definitely... Yeah, I like them. It's very... Uh, it definitely catches my eye. Mm. Right off the bat, I was just like, ooh, pants. <laughs> so fancy. But yes. Uh, I, I get what Amma is, is trying to say with that. Um, yeah, and, and maybe different sort of tones. I was like, we need more darker elements somewhere. And it, it, yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, both contrast of vibrancy and hue. Yes. Mm. All right, let us move on. So next up, now see, this is the thing. You can see much more now how close it is to finish. You've seen it slowly evolve. These now he's done the here. windows there and the, the blue parts of the windows. All right. Would you like to read out? Okay. Honey? About a day's worth of work left, I think. I was hoping to have them done this weekend, but now I have friends coming around tomorrow. Also, I need one of the, uh, Ghoul's, Ghoul's videos for the windows and his YouTube channel appears to have vanished. Oh, interesting. Okay. Whoever sculpted these buildings was clearly not thinking about painting them. <laughs> There's so many different things to paint. It looks good, but it's really dragging the painting out of what is basically just a box. Yeah. I don't want to be painting these. I want to get back to real minis. Mm, mm, mm. And this is what we were talking about um, in that video that we showed you how like some of the times miniatures can be overly detailed you know that one video we showed you yeah. of ours and that's essentially what he's complaining about you know some of the times with these sorts of things it's much more about the enjoyment of the painting yeah because maybe they make it too complicated and then it, it just makes it difficult to paint right then you're just like why 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 do you do that all right, so now we've got ah, uh, Rainer, Rainer 72, 72 paint. paint. Decided to work up a bus tonight on Twitch, start to finish. This is a demo per piece for a class I'll be teaching in November. Really fun using saturated shadow and tints. Mm, yes. So what do you guys think? I'll open this in a new image so you can get a slightly better look there. Yeah, this is certainly a bit more appealing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I agree, I agree. Yeah, then the color tones are, you know. So, what do you sense. what do you like about it, Amma? I like the color tones, mm -hmm. and uh, it looks um, quite real. Yeah, yeah. The facial expression, especially yeah. you know the the, the the hues that blend in, and, and it shows the, the on image. the teeth, everything, and the tongue. Mm. Yeah, 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 it's pretty good. Well, to be fair, uh, with this, it's a lot bigger. See, you can see his thumb there, right? Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to that previous one and see that's his thumb there, right? Mm -hmm. Take a look at that. Now, take a look at that thumb, mm -hmm. that nail there, mm -hmm. and you can see the difference in size. Yeah, yeah. So, with this one right here, I think it looks great. Um, I feel that the the palette's a bit limited. What do you think? Like, I think limited that's probably how? like the okay. There's purples and there's blues, and like then just all yellow here, sort of thing, right? And what I was just thinking is, you know, um, you could have some accent colors. Okay. But I'm guessing that he's doing this deliberately to sort of show these things in a much more deliberate manner it looks very color pencil yeah right now yeah yeah, yeah. but i'm not sure if this is um uh like the base 
uh, no, no, to- undertoned. Said, no, he said that he's he's, he's finished, finished with it. it. Yeah, yeah. We'll go up, and he said, um, I decided to work on a bus, start to finish. Yeah, start to finish. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's that's it. So um, as for like, I don't think that there's um, much that can be improved. But for me, just I feel like there's no accent colors, and I feel like here with this. Like kind of blended into the well it's it's a much more human skin tone and this is much more you know yellow yeah and i, I was going to say exaggerated mm-hmm. and it feels like some of it doesn't fit in with the others but yeah i just like i reckon a green or something with these beads over here or something like that or just something different mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying uh but that would be all you know because it just that that didn't feel like it fit, but I guess that's sort of the style that they're going for. Mm-hmm. I would say it's very stylistic, this yes, piece. Yes, definitely very stylistic. So it's a bit hard to say on certain things. Mm-hmm. All right, so Ooh. next up, we've got more from Genuine Vision. Uh, the littlest of WIPs. A base I made with bits from the garden and painted on steam to demo how I paint bark to look like rock. Ooh. So this is actually what this is made out of a bark and a mm. is actually bark, tree bark. Ah, so he made it to look like rocks. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's fantastic. Up. Yeah. Yeah, that's, Happy yeah. how it came out. Yep. Now just to finish Eric from hashtag Moonstone the game of from at goblin king game so we can get a mini on top of it cnc etc always welcome so cnc means comment and critique yes uh, yeah okay. as far as we know command and conquer right yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right you know we've, we've always got to give them a hard time if they don't uh if they don't actually <coughs> say what the thing is so just click here and yeah so you can you can see some of the things but Bark often will give you great textures for rocks in this scale. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, I think it looks fantastic. It's it's a base. It's a base. Um, so they'll put the model. You know the, the model that he was working on earlier with the elk and the green knight sitting on the elk? Right. That's right. going to be going on top oh, of this. Uh, no, I'm not sure he said Eric. was. Is that one Should Eric? be Eric. Well, we'll we'll find out. We'll we'll find out another time. But we will move on. I think it's looking fantastic. You know me, my dude. I love myself a good base. All of this looks absolutely fantastic, and I love the little naturalistic things. The moss you know, effects. You, of course, of course, you're going to get me with this one. I love this sort of stuff. Well, I, my only question would be how he's going to fit something on something so textured. Uh, a model pinned. Pinned. Oh, okay. yeah. But it, you might have some of the, the floating miniature problem, you know. Mm, with the, we'll the see desert. how he does yeah, it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <coughs> All right. Oh, and it's getting much closer to the end with Joseph now. You want to read this it's one? It's the end of the weekend and I have failed to get them finished. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did spend the day playing God tier, though, so it, that's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't get to pick up a brush until Thursday when I hope to finish the windows and maybe varnish. I did finish another small project, which I'll post about tomorrow. Okay, cool, cool. And so now you can see it's it's almost there compared to what you were looking at before. You know, so you see, like, here we are and here's... So that's how he has approached doing the windows, the reflections and stuff like yep. that. So he hasn't but, gotten to that yet. But you can see, like, slowly over time how people get to things. You're right, All right. All right, and then next up, we have Alan, and he's once again one of those more high-level painters, and this is a very large model. You want to read this one out? As I'm nearing the end of one project I and looking forward to the next, I'm debating whether to return to this guy or not. He's really huge, 120 mm scale, so that's 12 cm, and I was super excited to paint a model with this detail. I did his face first and was feeling really inspired and like I was nailing it. Then I tried to work out from there and got myself in a bind. I'm not sure why I'm having such a hard time visualizing what I want to do or, or executing it, 
But I'm sort of wishing I had only assembled part of him and painted him as a bust instead. Regardless, I hit a wall with this model and I'm finding it nearly impossible to muster the enthusiasm to get the back to him. Well, let's take a look. So, here we go. Yeah. I mean, it look at all the detail. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's what um, competition level painters are yeah, usually aiming looking, for. Looking so... Hyper-realism. Yeah. yeah. Alright, well, let him finish his point. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So, what's... What was it that you were trying to say, Appa? Yeah, it looks very real, you know, the, the, the paintings and the, the textures and detailing is great. Mm -hmm. This is great. What about you, Omar? What are your thoughts? Yeah, but would there be more colors to the armor? More? The armor, you mean? Yeah, the one he's carrying. Are you, yeah, you uh, mean the mace? The hammer? The hammer? Yeah, the hammer. The hammer. The hammer. Yes, yes. Yeah. So... That's what he's talking about. He's talking about how he started off with the, with the face, face here and then he started working his way out and then he started feeling as, as if, what am I doing? Because here's, um, here's the thing he, you can see here on this side, hasn't painted it up, but on this side, he's painted in all of that texture mm. for okay. like, you know, it looks like the padding and all of that sort of thing. And I think that the you know metallics are coming up absolutely fantastic and he's showing off light in such a fantastic way oh he's done the the opposite of what he told me oh no <laughs> uh but no i I, I have tried to actually take that one on but anyway um the the thing is for me it's about like you're you're trying to paint something to a competitive level so you need it to talk to you um I think if you can't have something really sing to you, you're going to have a problem. But the question is, are you going to be putting this into something? And if you are, you've just got to approach it like work and you've got to be like Shia LaBeouf and just, you know, flex and scream, just do it. Because he's, he's getting it done very well for yeah, no, the rest of it. So I think it's one of those cases where you just have to trust the process and finish it. Because yeah. some of the times it just feels like, am I yeah, getting that's, there? Is that's it? true. Well, okay. So for you guys, for Amma, for Appa, when you look at this, right? Yeah. You um, And you take a look down here. What do you, what do you think of how all of this is done up? How, how, what do you mean? How old? No, no. How how do you how do you think it looks when you take a look at all of the textures here, and all of that sort of thing? Yeah, I, I see that a lot of work has gone into it, and he tried to bring up the texture of the uh, the model itself, and I think he has done a great job. Yeah, and see, I think this is the thing. I think a lot of competition painters, right? Mm -hmm. They're so used to dealing with other people who are in that sort of competitive mindset mm -hmm. that they forget for some people, they just take a look at it and they just say, like, correct me if I'm wrong, if um, I'm a upper, mm -hmm. um, but you would just say, that looks beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. For for normal people like us, yes. yeah, you know, yeah. first hand look, and we would say, yeah, yeah it's, it's great. Quite you know? professional, yeah, professional work there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, and I think that's basically all we can say. Like, try not to get in your own head. I think once you finish it, you'll find that yeah. Yeah. you yeah. were just like, ah, oh, yeah. yeah, it yeah. looks yeah. great. It, yeah. I don't know what why I was giving myself such a hard time. Oftentimes, yeah. that fixes the problem. Mm. Right. All right. Yeah. So yeah. All right, so oh, this is you've you've seen this one actually. Grow yeah, outside. yeah. <laughs> this is just uh, what I've been working on, and uh, it's actually evolved a bit since then. But what we try and do is we try to live by our own ethos and sort of show off that we're doing stuff, that we're doing the process as well. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, you want me to read it? All right, so next up we have Dermod Fitzpatrick. Sorry, Dermod. Dermod yeah. Fitzpatrick. It's another one of those names that we have trouble saying. 
I'm making two posts out of these uh, guys so you'll see them differently. I painted these guys in different color shift colors as oh color shift ones. Yeah. They're uh, for advertising. I get to display some models in a local shop to advertise my small business. Um, sorry, I've lost my footing. I've I've painted plenty of these in the past for people to set their themes. I wanted to show off that their colors don't have to be set in stone. As GW always said, they're your models. Paint them as you see it. So as a break from the norm, I close. I chose nice. their color schemes as you see them, but I wanted a running theme to them too. Hence the glitter heads and the weapon handles. They are blades and the same color as their armor too. Their base colors were picked for a total contrast of the colors to make the model and base stand out individually. I figured if I went down the sparkling gem route, everything would blend into each other. Okay, so let's take a look. So here we go. I think here you're not going to see it as much because they're all, uh, I think this, I, I think the, the black one's not going to stand out as much, but yeah, here, uh, you, here go. you go. You Ooh. see that uh, color shift glitter that he's put into the helmet. Right. And then the, the armor itself is like a shift between yellow and yeah, orange yeah, and yeah. green. Yeah, it's a special effects paint that gives that sort of effect. Ooh, yes. yes, I very much like this one that we saw before. And I think that this, it's still the, the same thing as I said before. You know, I wouldn't have much more extra commentary before um, since we've seen this one. Because he's added all the accent colors in the right place and matched the base to that. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and then I think we've got a video in one Ooh, of these. Oh, this one's new. Yeah, this one's new. Um, but I do think hopefully... Oh, wow. Look, look at, at the that. cape. Oh, Ooh, cosmic cape. Well, I, I guess what uh, we should do is we've got you two here. What do you think of these effect paints? It has more glittering, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So how about we go on to post two from him because post two, yeah, it has some video. All right. Two, uh, two of two, my videography skills have leave a lot to be desired, but you get to see the glitter and color shift. Yep. The yellow and transparent blobs are what I'm trying for their shields being stuck, struck, struck, struck by some projectile. They need more work and are too thick. When I figured out how to do it properly, I'm hoping they'll be thinner and have some kind of projectile hitting them. Might stick some brass rod clippings out of them or a colored acrylic rod. They'll be done in each color of their armor too with some glitter. The last guy, well, glitter helmet and spearhead, inks on his cape with the interf interference paint. Yeah. Or run over it to help blend it and give a bit of a shimmer to it. I picked ivory over white as I think it looks better and I hate painting white over a black primer. Oh uh, yeah. I need to do a shadow in the cloth folds but I'm happy with it so far. Okay, so I started on a different one because if I click the video one it's going to be upset. So here we go. Let's take a look at this. Oh. So you see how it shimmers? I might just mute it. You see how it sparkles? Right. right. In different yeah. colors. Different, yeah, different tones there. Right. And it looks like dual tone though. Right? Yeah, In the, the, the blue. The so blue. the blue would definitely be dual tone. Mm -hmm. And that's the sort of um, plastic shielding he was talking about. He's trying to get an amber effect maybe here. Hmm, I'm not, I'm not 100% sold on that. What about you, honey? I think he's going for like a, a force field kind of yeah. look. Yeah, I understand, but I'm not sure that it sort of sells it as much. I think maybe it might be because it's bubbly. Yeah, yeah. maybe, maybe. But I have to say that I really love the color shift with the purples. And here's the thing we found with color shifts that a lot of the times... Just some color shifts 
are better than others, right? Like some some effects come out better than others. Like yeah, they take off. And it doesn't matter how how good of a painter you are or anything. You can't make a uh, a color shift paint better than what it is. But I think I think that he's done a good job. I think he's definitely hit his goal. So with these guys showing off each of the different things, and that's one of the things we do here, Amar Appa, is we don't judge by our own standards, right? We don't say this this person's great, this person's bad because of our own standards. Because what he wants to do is he wants to show off these different color effect paints at a local shop to sort of show things off and the idea of how they work and make people feel more comfortable using different colors, you know, different effects. And I'd say that he's absolutely hit that goal. Yeah, I think he might have wanted to experiment more with these sorts of... Yeah. And I think this model is great for that because it's Eldar. Right? Yes, yes. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think they're fun to play with if I was playing with models that look like that. Yes, yes. But, uh, Darmwood, I'd say 100% you hit your goal. I'd say that the biggest issue you've got is the color shifts themselves. Some of them are a lot better than others. Others are not so great and the issue is that has nothing to do with you it's just the paints themselves no matter how good you get at it you're not going to be able to change the strength of those all right so next up oh we've got more oh Don't yes move. yes i'm currently working on gray knights again a nemesis dreadnought or baby carrier as it's affectionately known as it's a nightmare trying to magnetize the weapons on some sacrifices will have to be made on the layout loadout options as there simply isn't enough parts to go around i was fortunate to spot that the waste of it can be magnetized too drilling and cutting into the waste to magnetize the waste was daunting but i managed it and lucky me i get to do it all over again with another one Oh, okay. So uh, he, he sounds pleased. He sounds very pleased. And so this is one of the things that these people do. So you remember how when you saw with Davit's thing that there was a um, there was all of those different pieces. Essentially what he's doing is instead of having those pieces glued, he's drilling and gluing magnets into those pieces so that he can chop and change things about. So you see how he's here? He's actually only there through the force of magnetism. He's uh, just being held. By magnets. They didn't glue him in place or anything like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that just gives them more access to things. And, you know, just showing a bit of the process of that. Mm. Very cool. Very cool. But this I was very excited about. I stumbled on to my first test print from my 3D printer on a week ago and had an idea for another terrain piece for Marvel, a corporate sculpture on a raised tower bed. This was made using stuff I had lying around and probably took an about an hour's worth of work all in. I'll take more on the pics. Oh, I'll, I'll talk, talk more on. on the pictures. Okay. All right. So he loves to do this one. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? I'll have to get a picture in. Sorry. Of Situ? a picture of it in situation. Like, I think like like in set. Like, yeah. Yep. Imagine this with a couple of park benches backed up to it and <clears throat> someone sat on one eating a sandwich and some pigeons trying to get the crumbs. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so this thing right here is uh, something that people use to test how their printer is working. You remember how um, that lady earlier had the 3D print and it had the seams? Yeah. So that's, that's what he's doing here. And he's just using common materials. Oh, hold up. Oh, you want to read out this? Oh, here's my parts. I had a variety of jar lids already saved up. I used them as hobby holders. I worked out which one to use by scaling them up against the minis. The one, this one means the planter will be about bottom height, oh, making it a bit too much here. Okay. I think we'll, I think oh, we'll move on. on. 
Yeah, but basically he scratch built this. He created all of this himself to create a a bit of, you know, corporate art for that game. Public that art, essentially. So yeah. for, for, for as part of terrain. For yeah. The- and uh, so I think that he hit exactly what he wanted to do. I mean, like... You could see this in Singapore somewhere. You could imagine this being at a park somewhere mm-hmm. in Singapore, couldn't yeah. you? Yes. Yeah. And I think that's the thing. You hit your goal, that's it. Don't don't try and think too hard about it. I think it looks good. Me too. Yeah. 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 Uh, it, it looks good. Yeah. It looks good. All right. And uh, now we've got uh, who we love to call our smooth, smooth butt, butt brush butt strokes. strokes. WIP Cerberus Raider. Uh, thought it was probably about time I made some progress on this project again. Only really had time to put on a couple of colors, but I'm happy with the red for my robes. It's so adeptus mechanicus. Okay, yes. so um, the reason why we give uh, him a, a bit of a hard time is because with this, um, unlike some of the other people who may have trouble, you notice how solid each of his colors are. And this sort of thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's uh, that's one of his signatures that he does just such intense, good, solid color. And he does it by just um, applying just multiple coats of the color until it's just this nice, solid bit there. And it's super smooth. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But still a work in progress. So, like, he, he hasn't done all of the detailing and that sort of thing, but... This yeah. is just the base colors blocked in. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But what do you think of what you're looking at here? You can see that it's all in parts. What, what do you guys think? It's like a puzzle. <laughs> it does. It looks like a bit of a puzzle because he's working at the model in parts. So yeah. it's sub-assembly. Uh, so he have not fully assembled yet. Yeah, yeah, so they'll paint them in parts because sometimes uh, certain it's parts easy. is difficult to paint mm-hmm. and get to if it was all pre-assembled. Mm-hmm. So they do that and then after it's all painted up, they'll glue it together. Right. Yeah, so just see this head here. If it's in that robe area, right? See how it's very sunken in? Mm. So that robe comes up almost to there. And it'll make it so that it's much more difficult to paint. So that's why they'll paint it like that. All right. So next up, we've got a different Alan. Ooh. Finally yes. able to get back to my brushes. I believe we had saw a, we a work in progress of this the last time. But yes. it's come together very nicely right now. What do you guys think of this guy? So this is another work in progress. I'm going to... It looks like Guardian... Of galaxy. Oh yeah, Guardian oh yeah, he of the does. Galaxy. He does look a bit right, the like Rocket. Rocket, yeah. What was that? Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that um, definitely that armor's coming up. You know, you can see the the brightness, and you can see that it's work in progress. So this is the kind of thing that people will see Amar apart. So you see how you've got that brightness there, and then here on its shoulder, yeah, like it's quite dull. But obviously he hasn't gotten to around here because you see, like, as soon as it passes that barrier there, it goes back to that much more dull tone. Mm -hmm. And so that's what people can see and they see how people paint. And that's why we think that this is really important. I think that the steel's coming up great. I think that that red guard looks amazing. I think that he always does really well with his reds. The shading, yeah. Yeah. But we will see how it progresses in the future, Alan. And uh, hopefully... Until this guy is named, Rocket Raccoon will uh, will uh, <laughs> do very well in the future. All right, so next up... Oh, we've got Ooh, David Downey. He's, a, a, he's t- a local. The T-Rex. And so what he's done up is this team is notorious for not having enough players. So he's just gotten a toy by the looks of things and just put things together himself. So he made this. See that green stuff there? That's a putty that he's used, and he's just used some um, parts from other miniatures to create a miniature himself. A custom-made miniature, yeah. Yeah, he just made it himself. And so, here is... I think this is it all done up. Yeah, yeah, so that's it all done up. I'll open it up in an image so that you guys can see it a bit better. (laughs) 
but it's a it's a it's a tad bit ridiculous. But I think it doesn't look too bad. What do you guys think? Not too bad. Not too bad. Mm, but I think uh, I still feel like some parts of it is not finished. Mm, mm. I, especially the tail. End. The tail end and yeah, and, and, and yeah, it could could be a bit more detail or add some more. Uh, I don't know. It looks a little bit unfinished to me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, uh, well, you know what? He, it might be true. It might be that it is not finished. But we will, we will see. Cause like, it looks finished to me. That guy. What do you think, honey? I think he might be finished with him. But I can see what Abba's talking about. How like it's just one yeah. solid color. Yeah. Um. Or it might just be how the light's reflecting on him. I, I don't know. I, but the smaller yeah, guy this one looks, looks different. The smaller guy does look more finished, I guess, because yeah, yeah. he's got more tonal values and stuff that's going on with him. But yeah. But, but to be fair, I think it's also because that is a, a proper scratch built one. Scratch built one. So like compared to the you know proper yeah, one. So he yeah. had the pants built onto him. Yeah, he made it all himself. So I think yeah, you might be right. It might just be the fact that you know he's like. Good enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Good I enough. mean, because it would have already taken him a lot, a lot of, of effort. effort. Right, right. But you know what? I think maybe that's the reason to push it a bit more. Because if you're going to scratch build a model, put that extra bit of effort in. Mm. Mm. Maybe he could do more true metallic metal on the guards since it's so big. Yeah, yeah. No, I think that would probably good, be a good idea. You know, um, pushing the metal effects, that sort of thing. Um, yeah. You know what I think might actually be really good? Mm-hmm. Um, because he's got that very wide open mouth sort of thing. Mm. Maybe him either having some blood dripping out of her or some uh, like drool. Oh, yeah. But yeah, we'll... We'll see how it moves along. Oh, and uh, this was me doing up an article about how none of us have any time. So you've got to make your own time. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes. Oh, and this is um, Tyrone. Tyrone. Oh, okay. Some classic world eaters I've been working on for a mate. Uh, tried experimenting with some different paint schemes and even some kit bashing with a few others. I used dirt from my backyard for the bases with technical paint as I wanted to try some new basing techniques. The pieces in the dirt are limbs from what was left over on the sprue. Not a problem, but loving this hobby corn gang we out here. Not a pro, but loving this uh, hobby corn gang out, we out yeah. here. So uh, these are, these are um, much older models. So you can see compared to some of the new models you would have seen that they have quite squat proportions. Um, But tell us what you guys think of these. Mm, It's just like like one color tone or two colors maybe. Mm -hmm. Uh, Maybe it could be a bit more of uh, different colors to show different parts of the uh, model. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. What about you, Amar? What, what do I you like think? I like the base, though. You like the base? Yeah. 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 Look like cookies to her. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? <laughs> yeah, come she's come feeling on. hungry now. <laughs> yeah, when, when she said base, I know what exactly she's thinking. <laughs> in <the> mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so, um, for, for us, I think when we take a look at it we know what he's trying to achieve because this is a sort of a technical color scheme like he's got to hit those certain tones i do think however a part is right in some things that you could have some color variations for example maybe steel with the chains yeah you know yeah. just little things like that i know that they're like meant to be all brass and red but just some variations yeah mm-hmm. and i um, what, what do you think about the anything else to add on with this model no comment i like the base <laughs> okay <laughs> so is it really because it looks like cookies or what why why do you like mm-hmm. the base actually he, he used the base uh, he used, he used the natural natural dirt, dirt yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It, that's very creative of him. Mm-hmm. Very creative. So you like that it was a yeah, very creative correct. use of um, 
it, it's not just a regular item you yes, use you right. use something unexpected to make mm, a base okay yeah, yeah. oh interesting all right. okay cool, cool cool all right so and finally we've got the much costly prices new stands done and, and the coffee shop finished at last tomorrow i get to return to painting people mm. and things that actually fit in my hand are and on a hobby holder okay all right so let's take a look at them and tell us what you think so here they are all, all finished. finished yeah finally all finished up yeah a lot more details now mm -hmm. so what do you think amar it, it looks real though but i find like it's just a painted work like uh, you know the hand gestures don't translate <laughs> on audio, right, Amar? <laughs> I, I, think, I think she's trying to say like well, 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 2D. Let, let Amar try to say yeah. what she yeah, thinks. Yeah, yeah. It's just like a, you give a picture and you color it. Uh -huh. Because I've, we've been mm. reviewing all those like 3D effects. Ah, uh, mm. more realistic mm. and this yeah. it looks uh, more okay. on the flatter side. Okay, yeah. there's yeah, a reason yeah. for that. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I get what you're saying now. So you're saying it looks a lot more flat compared to a lot more of the sort of sculpted surfaces. Yes. And I, I guess the reason for that is, like he said, is essentially it is just a box because that's what these styles of buildings are. Yeah, you know? and like with boxes, you can't really have too much. There's not much you can do in terms right. of three-dimensional shading. So he's done some shading on the sides and mm. he uses like a lighter color in the middle to show like some depth yeah but he is going for like a comic book look oh. mm. yeah, yeah because yeah, it's marvel yeah, it's marvel yeah, you yeah. see so that's why he is it's, it's right, very right. vibrant it's a bit more on the flat side and it looks very cartoonish mm. yeah. so that's what he is going for mm. that's why i'm trying to imp uh, uh, imp imply. apply yeah. oh, okay yeah. okay yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah what about you Opa? what are your thoughts yeah yeah i, I mean uh, uh i think earlier on we saw some uh uh, uh uh, you know starting up works and it, it turned out to be more detailed now and it looks great mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well i think i think that he hit his goal but i can definitely see why he's so frustrated by these because i don't think that they're like the worst or anything i think they're fine i think they look good right but i can see why you'd be so frustrated by something like this putting all of this work in for something that is essentially going to be a background piece that not a lot of people are going to pay attention to mm -hmm. and you're just like, and you just feel like that perhaps you you've wasted a lot of effort yeah mm. Mm. but i think they look good i like i like the color tones that you use i like how you did the uh the spray to give that color variation um i'm i'm still not sold on the window effect but i think it looks so much better here compared to with the cars Mm. But yeah, pro probably it just fits better with this look. Because it's quite flat. Flat, yeah. yeah. But I think for, unfortunately, with this, the way that, like he said, the way that it was sculpted, sometimes it forces you to do more than yeah. you would want yeah. because of all the details there. So if he didn't put extra effort into it, it just would look odd in the background. All right, so... On to our next. Uh, and see, now you can see this one has evolved a bit. So you want to read this one out? WIP Cerberus Raider. Ugh, looks like I've messed up. I've gone and painted thin coat or robes red. When in fact the inside lining is meant to be cream. cream. But do you know what? I think I prefer them red. So I'm sticking with it. Uh, what <laughs> do you folks think? I, I think it looks fine. Yeah, I, I don't think it's, it's, yeah, it it's makes too much issue. of a dif difference if you have a dual tone cloak or not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I think with some cloaks where it's the feature, like for example, those big billowing cloaks, I think, um, you know, where the, the guy is sort of almost coming out of a um, Renaissance style painting. Uh -huh. I think that is a big difference, but this is just a, a horse rider. So... A lot of that's going to be covered up a lot of the time. Yeah, I understand that. So I think just one tone red is fine. All right. And this is our very last post. Okay. Well, I, he's, he's written something. Might be my next project question mark. Mm -hmm. And so this, this was Alan who showed off that very big dwarf guy. Mm -hmm. The very who, detailed dwarf. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Um, is it a turtle mage? It, it, it seems to be some sort of tortoise man guy thing. With a beer yeah. bottle. Oh, oh, no, I think it's... Uh, oh, it's one testudo. of those... Is, I think those... It's a weapon. Are, yeah, that's, I think that's what it's called, the testudo. I'm uh, excited to see how he'll paint this. Mm, well, it'll be very interesting, but more <coughs> importantly, Amma, Appa, what did you think of this whole process? What did you think of going through and reviewing things? And has it gotten you uh, a bit more understanding of what we do with all of this? Yeah, 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 certainly. At least I, I think uh, uh, there are people looking for opinions and you know, your feedback. And uh, I think uh, it will help them in the longer process, uh, build more confidence. And, and, and I think that's, that's what they're looking out for. Uh, people's opinion maybe can improve uh, the, the the works uh, as it is is good mm-hmm. you know you compliment them and encourage them yeah to participate yeah and stuff like that I think it's quite interesting uh, how about you Amma what do you they, they, they are all doing a very good job yeah they are very good job how do you feel about like you know Previously, only Henry and I talk about what we do in terms of painting these things up. But yeah. now that you see like so many different types of paint jobs, like do you? How do you feel about what this? Uh, I'm, hob- speechless. I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> it, I'm you know, speechless. It, this is something that it is uh, a little bit new for me. I've seen Sangeeta drawing the uh, vector type, you know, the, I was actually... Uh, digital take, arts. Yeah, yeah, digital arts and 2Ds. So, I'll, I'll just cut you off because Amma was saying something. Could you finish your thought, please? Mm. Amma? Yeah. The, the, I'm speechless. They all have put in a lot of work and I'm very impressed that some of them use their natural... Um, how can I say natural things to work with their colors all these things and I like to wish each and every one um, just don't stop yes yeah all right that's and, something uh, I can agree with right. um, practice makes perfect keep <laughs> on practicing and you will be there one day definitely I think that is definitely worth ending on and uh, so we always end on this catchphrase and the reason we do is pretty much exactly what you said and we say keep Keep those brushes brushes wet wet. (laughs) bye bye everyone Bye. bye